1985, Dr. Robert Miller developed what he called quantum phase corrective lenses to help his 12-year-old daughter Emily, who suffered from severe visual impairment. The breakthrough should have revolutionized optical science. Instead, it led to one of physics' most disturbing unsolved cases. Initial tests were promising. Emily reported perfect vision for the first time in her life. Then, after three days of use, she began describing wrongness in what she saw. The air is breathing, she wrote in her diary. Everything is inside something's stomach. We're floating in digestive fluid. It's so big I could barely see it. It's laughing at us, all of us. Her final coherent statement to hospital staff. The thing, it keeps us dreaming so we don't feel ourselves being consumed, being digested. Dr. Miller found Emily in their bathroom on March 14th. 1985. She had removed her own eyes with her hands. Before sedation, she repeatedly thanked him for making me blind again. The prototype glasses were never recovered. Miller's research notes, found partially burned, contained equations that leading physicists called impossible and architecturally incompatible with our universe. Miller vanished two weeks later. His final recorded phone call to colleague doctor, James Chen, contained one cryptic statement. The human eye evolved to see what we need to survive, not what's actually there.